Hey, this is Steven from the Legit PC, and uh, today we're going to look at the Cinebench Release 11.5 benchmark. This particular benchmark uses the Cinema 4D um, 3D tool, and uh, it uses that in this benchmark as showing you how fast you would render a scene if you were to make this particular scene in the actual uh, Cinema 4D tool and how long it would take and how fast you would render frames per second and how long it would take to render a scene on your CPU. So uh, what I have here is I have the advanced benchmark uh, setting set here and you see that by the check mark and that allows you to do these multiple tests and uh, it also has a leaderboards down here at the bottom and this is my previous test just running just running it to uh, see how, how it works and things like that so I could talk about it here in this video and uh, also matches you up against different systems and the points that they got and whatnot. And you could pick any one of the tests and uh, put yourself up against anybody else. So right now we're going to run uh, the OpenGL, which is a video test, and it's going to have one scene, a car scene, rendering, and how fast it would take to render that particular scene if it were, if you actually were to design that scene and render it in uh, the Cinema 4D. So we're gonna run that right now and you'll see it there in that little window. And uh, enjoy. and we are back and uh, as you see we got 40.88 which is a big drop from last time I don't know why exactly that is but uh, might be because I'm uh, live recording with the Avery Media Live Gamer HD as well as recording live audio at the same time with uh, with the application I'll talk about later so yeah, so this uh, particular brown one was my last run, so that's 45.01, and the gold one is this particular run, so you see 40.88, and uh, yeah, so then we're going to go into the next benchmark, which is a CPU benchmark, which we're going to render one scene that, uh, and it would show how long it were to have rendered inside the actual Cinema 4D application and this is the one running with uh, all your threads all your cores everything enabled so we're gonna run that right now um, so as you see as you'll notice uh, one second let me change the CPU as you'll notice we have four boxes that's because I'm running a 3570k which has four cores four threads so those four boxes represent four threads And uh, after this one, I'm going to show you guys the single core um, rendering of the same scene, which will only use one box instead of four boxes. All right, so that's the end of uh, the CPU test, and I got a 5.58, which uh, you can see is just a little bit under what I got last time, and it's way under, you know, the Opterons and the, and the Workstation uh, Xeons, which uh, is to be expected. Uh, okay, so we're going to go to uh, the next uh, single core, which uh, mine's a four core, the 3570K, so it's going to disable hyperthreading and disable three of the cores. My particular one doesn't have hyperthreading, so it doesn't have to worry about that. So we're going to run that. Now, as you can see, it's only going to use one box, and this particular render will take quite a while. So, um, yeah, so that goes to show if you're going to do just build more than a one core rig which is pretty hard to do now cuz not really any processors are one core except for like the atom and uh yeah and also make sure that the 3D tool if you want to become a 3D designer or you are a 3D designer make sure that your tool has more than 
has four core support as well as hyper threading support. And yeah, so uh, enjoy this particular render. It is pretty long. And uh, yeah. All right, and uh, we are back from the single core test. And uh, this particular one, as you see on the last one, I got 1.44, and this one I got 1.42. And as you can see, I beat the Xenon because my clock is higher. As you can see, mine's at 3.41, and uh, Xenon's at 3.33. So, and I also believe I have more cash, more uh, level two and level three cash per core than. Uh, than the Xenon does because of course this is only a one core test so it cuts everything else out besides that one core and in that case my one core beats uh, their one core and uh, yeah that's pretty much uh, the Cinebench and uh, so this has been Steven from Legit PC and if you like this video please subscribe for more videos like it and thanks for watching